Welcome everyone to AWA World Fighting Showcase Britannia. We are kicking things off this week on episode 199 with a Global Wrestling Federation Commonwealth Championship matchup. There's the champion, GWF. Commonwealth champion, the very popular modern day savage, Chris Cage. Entering the ring right now, set to take on the returning little Don Tony Pacino. We haven't seen Tony Pacino from so, for some time now. The uh, little Italian, but he made quite an impact several years ago, especially in the light heavyweight division. But now brought back to the AWA for one night only to challenge for the Global Wrestling Federation Commonwealth title. Your referee, Mr. X. Hands the belt to Ben TV official Lee Trapman. Bringing both men center ring to explain the rules and regulations of this very important championship contest. A hand was offered by the champion Chris Cage, the little Don Tony Pacino having nothing to do with it. Both men in great shape, obviously Chris Cage taller and heavier but let me tell you the little Don Tony Pacino has some great speed headlock applied and off the ropes now ducks the clothesline does Pacino nice flying tackle there's a show of that speed that we were talking about one fall 20 minute time limit in this one Chris Cage Takes on all comers from all over the world defending that title. He has also been to Italy himself to defend that title very recently. But right now, the Italian is coming to him with a second headlock of the contest. Off the ropes again goes Tony Pacino. Ducks that one. Cross body. And down goes the little Don. Just a two count after the black hole slam from the champion Chris Cage. What have you got to watch out for specifically from Cage? Well, everything he does is effective. But he is great at the big discus punch. He is great at the claw. He has a move that he calls the RKO. All devastating finishing maneuvers and holds. Suplex leads to just a two from the champion Chris Cage on the little Don Tony Pacino. Side Russian leg sweep. Hooks the leg. Not a great uh, cover there from Chris Cage. It's going to take a lot more than that to defeat the former AIWF British Junior Heavyweight Champion. Big slam from the six foot six Chris Cage. We are back to action. Chris Cage missed with a big knee to the little Don. And let me tell you, the little Don is now on that. He's bringing the action fast and hard to the champion he's not come from Italy to leave Great Britain without that title big stomp from the middle rope there don't be put off by the short stature of the little Don he's an angry little man in great shape quick as a cat with great wrestling skills as we're seeing as he is dissecting the current Global Wrestling Federation Commonwealth Champion. Referee just checking that Chris Cage is okay to continue. He's saying yes, he doesn't want to lose the Global Wrestling Federation title that he's now held since January. He defeated uh, Cruel Connection for that title. When Johnny Rose was forced to give it up due to a leg injury. 
Really having trouble getting back on that feet. We all know that Chris Cage has had several knee operations on this hectic championship schedule of uh, Chris Cage's. Really isn't going to do him any good. Staying on that leg all the time, wrestling night after night, defending that title throughout the world. And back once again on that knee. The little Don. He ain't giving up on this one. A big stomp from the middle. Great wrestling to stay on that injured body part. Still to come. AWA World Heavyweight Champion Johnny Rose. RK Joe out of absolutely nowhere. Out of nowhere at all. Hooks the leg. And that is it. Chris Cage, your winner and still Global Wrestling Federation Commonwealth Champion. But let me tell you, the little Don took it to the big Chris Cage. Excellent contest. Nice to see the little Don back. Stay with us. We'll be back with more right after this. AWA World Fighting Showcase Britannia, episode 199 continues with the AWA World Heavyweight Championship on the line. There's the champion, the number one, Johnny Rose, making his way to the ring with the manager of champions, Thomas J. Curtis, always got something to say to the ringside fans. These two have formed quite the alliance as part of the Network tag team. There's Johnny Rose proudly showing off the AWA World Heavyweight Championship belt. Thomas J. Curtis leading the nine times world champion into the ring. And it appears as if Thomas J. Curtis is asking for the microphone. Which doesn't surprise me one bit. He's always happy to hear his own voice. You see he's wearing the jacket there is Johnny Rose. The jacket that was given to him by four horsemen legend Arn Anderson. Into the ring. Comes the champion. Let's see what Thomas J has to say. of all time because you see I've done some negotiating over the last week and look who I've managed to acquire I've managed to get the crown jewel of AWA a man who represents honor dignity respect and tradition so ladies and gentlemen I want to introduce to you to the newest member of the Thomas J. Curtis Network he is the AWA World Heavyweight Champion. Give it up for Johnny Rose! <laughs> a lot of people say there's a fine line between confidence and arrogance. And I'm right on that line, and I have every right to be right on that line. No, you don't. Nobody, nobody in this area has drawn more people to a wrestling show than me. Nobody in this area has won more championships than me. Nobody in this area has been more responsible for any big names with multi-million pound contracts than me. Some people call me a bully. I ain't no bully. I am the eight times heavyweight champion of the world. Okay, guys, after, and AWA World Fighting Showcase Britannia continues. I am your host, Dick Witherspoon, bringing you this, the AWA World Heavyweight Championship Contest. We already saw and heard what the champion, Johnny Rose, and his manager, Thomas J. Curtis, had to say. 
And here is the opponent, the Global Star from Mexico. Very popular man, El Grande Pistolero, going up a weight division here to take on the heavyweight champion of the world. Referee Mr. X is in the ring. Contrast of styles, a very quick. Now Grande Pistolero against the slower Methodico. Johnny Rose the champion. He's rearing a go is El Grande Pistolero. One fall in this one. Hour time limit as on all AWA World Heavyweight Championship matches. If by chance it does go longer than the time of TV allows, we'll bring you the, the rest of the action next week. Still mouthing off for the fans at ringside is Johnny Rose. Still set to appear on this episode of AWA World Fighting Showcase Britannia, the nine at 199 Battle Royal. This is episode 199, and we have a nine person Battle Royal coming up for you. Next week, a very special episode, episode number 200, a landmark episode for AWA, World Fighting Showcase Britannia Television. 200 episodes shown on Ben TV on Sky Channel 175 every Friday night. You can now catch us at 10 p.m. and 12.30 a.m. each and every Friday night. Next week, it's tag team action. Johnny Rose involved once again, teaming up with Thug's teammate, Dickie Bowen, to take on Trident members. Global Wrestling Federation Commonwealth Champion. The modern day savage Chris Cage, who we saw a little bit earlier on. And his tag team partner from Dallas, Texas. The Ice Hockey Horror. We're talking about Slapshot. That's next week. Landmark episode. Big match coming up next week. Johnny Rose and Chris Cage have been feuding here in the AWA, dating back to the HCW days for some. 15, 16 years now, so next week on episode 200. She's got a chance to come to a head. Two men that were former tag team partners and rivals many, many times here in the AWA. But first up, Johnny Rose has got our Grande Pistolero to worry about. The Mexican. Global star. As we have a semi-Japanese stranglehold put on by Johnny Rose in the early going of this one. There you see the network boss, Thomas J. Curtis, calls himself the manager of champions and the champion of managers. A big double shoulder takes El Grande down and drops that 305 pounds across the arm of El Grande Pistolero. Certainly slowing down a potentially speedy El Grande. Johnny Rose will be involved in the 9 at 199 Battle Royal coming up. Also in that one, Blue Tiger, Lacey James, TC Brown, and many more. And if you notice, just down to the right hand side of your screen, GWF Commonwealth Champion. Chris Cage made his way to ringside there. Obviously taking a good look at what could potentially be uh, a contender for either his title or him to the AWA World's title. And maybe scouting out things for uh, his match in the tag team match next week. Chris Cage certainly likes to do uh, do his homework on his opponents, and he knows Johnny Rose real well, but there's always something new to learn in the wrestling business. Strength hold now by these two men. Looks like Al Grande may be getting the better of it, but a knee right there. Wow. 
What a chop to the top of the head of Al Grande Pistolero. Shoulder drive into the lower back, the kidney area of the Global Star. Whoa, big boot there from Al Grande, a second one. Caught with a hip toss from Rose to Al Grande Pistolero. Landed badly, did Al Grande there. He's taking his time to get back to his feet. Side head chancery now by Rose to Al Grande Pistolero as Thomas J. Curtis, the manager, full of encouragement to his man. He's loving what's happening to Al Grande Pistolero thanks to his latest signing, the AWA World Heavyweight Champion, Johnny Rose. It was a bit of a contract battle as Johnny Rose was managed by Petey Crockett and Nick Flagg was managed by Thomas J. Curtis and they swapped, uh, swapped contracts, the two managers did and Petey Crockett now has the contract to the Legend Slayer, Nick Flagg. And Thomas J has the contract of the world's champion. So big contract negotiations there between two of the biggest names in the AWA right now. Off the ropes. One to the midsection. That's the knee lift. That is all she wrote, surely. Not many get up, if any at all, from the knee lift of Johnny Rose. Still the world champion of the AWA. The number one, Johnny Rose, Thomas J. Curtis, brings in the bout. A very proud Thomas J. Curtis, and in the AWA World's Heavyweight title. So the number one, Johnny Rose of Alden. Still to come, the nine at episode 199, Battle Royal, stay with us. Nine person Battle Royal, still to come. Remember next week, episode 200, big tag team action. Be sure to join us then. Stay with us. Battle Royal up next. Our main event this week on episode 199 of AWA World Fighting Showcase Britannia is the very special nine on episode 199 Battle Royal. Nine competitors in the ring. Not just over the top rope, but any way of which the opponents go outside of the ring, so both feet end up on the floor. They're eliminated. The nine at 199 Battle Royal. There's newcomer Sophie Louise over there in the black on the left. Millie Beats from the PWL Wrestling School. Big forearm shots from Lacey James to Johnny Rose in the right corner. Big uh, Famouser from the Barnsley Brawler to uh, what looked very briefly like uh, Dickie Bowen, and it was, I can see that now. Spun round, shots in the corner by the two ladies. Millie Beats and Sophie Louise. Big uh, right hand shot to Rose from the brawler. TC Brown and Blue Tiger going at one, one another. Mid ring, Thomas J. Curtis. I'm assuming he's been eliminated, but. Uh, if he's not been in the ring, he can have been eliminated. I'm not quite sure what the uh, official verdict there is. Huge chop. Corner post and nicely done from Sophie Louise to Millie Beats. A kick from Tiger to TC Brown. It's choking in the corner from Sophie Lou. T.C. Brown now. 
Getting his nose pulled off by Johnny Rose. Lacey James in trouble on the mat, on the mat there from Dickie Bowen. Brawler being choked out by Blue Tiger. It's all action in this one. There is eight in the ring currently. It certainly appears to me as if Thomas J. Curtis was not in this contest, so has not been eliminated. Blue Tiger has been eliminated by Barnsley Brawler, I believe. Now a choke in the corner to Millie Beats from Lacey James. Standing on the back was Dickie Bowen on the Barnsley Brawler. The ladies really nailing each other in that corner. Millie Beats and Sophie Louise. Lacey James being choked out by Dickie Bowen. T.C. Brown has got him. Look at that one. Oh, Barnsley Brawler doesn't want any more children. As Rose sticks the 305 pounds. Right in the lower extremities. There we go. Out goes Dickie Bowen. T.C. Brown. TC Brown looks like he's going as well. Johnny Rose has got him. Little elbow to the midsection. Soon stop that one. And now we're down to six, I believe. Where's Thomas Shea Curtis going? Maybe he has been eliminated. TC Brown. Not seen Thomas J in a while, so. Millie Bates being picked up by T.C. Brown. <laughs> Pushed off the apron there. And that is all she wrote for Sophie Louise. T.C. Brown eliminates Millie Bates. <laughs> Over the top now, T.C. Brown is gone thanks to an unusual double team of Bonsley Brawler and Johnny Rose. And now... The brawler is gone. We're down to two. And if I was a betting man, I'd put my money on the 305 pound Johnny Rose to get that man out of the ring. Ain't gonna be easy. Shots to the back now. Like I said, it's not just over the top rope, so. Lacey James doing all she can. To get, oh, pulled out now. Lacey James and Johnny Rose in a precarious position here. Both on the apron. An elbow. Another one, a shot from Rose. Whoa, thrown into that rope. Whoa, a big drop kick, and out goes Johnny Rose. Rose through Lacey James back in the ring. We'll be back next week with episode 200.